How's everybody doing? Welcome to Solution Seekers. My name is Kelly, as you know. Well, so for some of you maybe don't, well, my name is Kelly, by the way. Um, I hope that everybody's feeling fine. It's Friday after all. Uh, for the past week, I've been having some very serious, debilitating uh, back issues once again. And um, finally, after all, after such a long period of time, it's resolved. Well, the process is resolved. I have an appointment to get my second epidural on October 1st. It's still a waiting point. Still a period of waiting, but you know what? <sighs> Something that's better than nothing. There's some conclusion to it. And let's just hope it works. If not, we're just going to have to do, you know, just like I like to say, man, it's, it's never what happens that matters. But what, what the hell do I plan on doing about it? Um, my purpose for coming in tonight before I head out to work is um, being the change that you want to see in the world part two um, for the past week or so with all the, the events that happened in Kenosha, the events that happened with the little young dude going through shooting people. Um, there's just, there's so much frustration. There's, you know, people are fighting for some type of justice social justice and there are just so many people who just hold on to these arbitrary rigid rigid positions and um it's fuck man it, it's as a as a black man it's disheartening to see so much of this this hatred why are they doing this why are they doing that well damn it look at the history of this fucking country you know, I'm not saying that a lot of this stuff is justified. I'm not saying the reaction is justified. I'm not saying that this tenant that Black Lives Matter has pr proposed these demands, most of them, from, from my estimation, are unfucking reasonable and it'll never happen. So let's be let's be logical. Let's be sensible about everything. You know, I can, I'll go all the way back to um, the civil rights uh, marches and what they asked for and. You know, even during those days, man, it's it's pretty bad when you live in a country that has a constitution, but yet the constitution doesn't affect us. And then in order for you, for us to be treated civilly, we have to go through some legislation through the courts or, or legislation through the, uh, the federal government. And uh, you know what, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a really fucked up situation for all intents and purposes. But you know what, that's neither here nor there. You know, my, my really, my true question is, is that, you know, if you want to be the change that you see in the world, well, it starts each with each, each and every individual trying to do something different, trying to impact somebody in the most beneficial way that maybe that works for them. If you see somebody in distress, what are you going to do? Are you going to help or are you just going to look at it or are you going to videotape them? You know, like, that, like for instance, in Wisconsin, had, they, had that neighbor not shot that video, seeing him getting shot seven times in the back, the po cops had no body cams on them. So what does that say about the whole event? You know, people are now using technology as, as a way. And you know what? I really don't care about anything that was said about it. I'm just using that as an example. You know, um, for things to get better in our own personal lives, in our own, in our own household, our own communities, in, in our own states, in our own nation, it's going to take not just one person, but it's going to take all of us to effectively make that make that happen. So the one thing that I have to always ask myself, what am I willing to do? What sacrifices am I willing to do today to make my life better, to make somebody else's life better? You know, this might not be a, it's something that a lot of people want to do, or maybe they want to be selective or, or about how they, that process on how they can possibly do that. But you know what? Some people are so self-centered that they really don't give a shit about nobody. Like today I was watching Les Brown getting really pissed off. And is he's one of my, the reason I'm on here right now is probably because of Les Brown and Eric Thomas. Those those dudes, when in my early recovery, I we used to watch a lot of motivational speakers, and I've gotten a lot a, a lot of my processes from them. Um, but this man has always been calm, cool, and collective. Man, he's 75 years old, so there's just so much crap that he's seen as far as what's going on. And it's, it, it's even pre prevalent today. For you people who don't know. The black community has been dealing with these issues. I'm 52 years old. We've been dealing with this since I was a kid, even before that. Um, so this is this is nothing new for us. We just people are just getting tired 
of the same old, same old, of the same old bullshit, the same old broken promises. You know, you might not agree with it. You may not. I don't know. But you know what? If you really, if you really truly appreciate us as a community, because if everybody who lives in your area is not part of your community, you don't have a community. You just have a, a it's like whatever. You know, I like to think that um, we can share sides with everybody. I will support, any, like, for for example, I will support anybody for their humanity. You know, not for their political positions. I can, I can give a damn about anybody's political position. But I will support any and everybody in their humanity for what they want. I don't care what it is. If you want some basic fundamental rights, I will more so than support that. I will make those sacrifices to be there. But the real question is, are you willing to do it? Because it can't just be one person. It can't just be a few of us. It has to be collective. This is a collective movement. And it has to be from what I've seen. And those of the people who know me know that I'm very... Uh, I read a lot, I study a lot, and I just history, econ economics, world history, um, the the, um, the law. I, I'm just, I'm a nerd in that in that capacity, but you know, I'm I'm just it is a point to where not to be hostile and angry about anything, but there's just there's appropriate way about how you do things, man. And I just I'm just seeing that people are just not getting, and I'm seeing so many just. Uh, vilified positions and oh it has to be this they did there's always an excuse that it's never what done it matters but how in the hell are we going to respond to it to make their situation better I hate to see that anybody has to lose their life over some bullshit you know rather it's from the cops rather it's from a vigilante or or you know or like that young kid that got killed by that black dude you know um, I can't remember his name right now. You know, all that shit is really unfucking called for. And if you can support that, I say, what does that fucking say about your character that you have within yourself? That I guess you just see it's us versus them. Well, you know what? Nobody in this life is all by themselves. Because, you know, let, let's let's be honest. We live in a fucking a melting pot. For, for better or worse. And, and, you know, if you can look how this country was founded, this country was founded on violence. And, that, and it's, my, it's my thinking that America is one of the most violent places in the world. The question is, do we have to continue to, to be that way going forward? Because at some point, what is everybody going to do? Is everybody just going to get a gun and start shooting at each other? Because you feel, oh, you're, you're not supporting Trump. You're not supporting Biden. You're not supporting Jurgensen. You're not supporting the Green, the Green Party. And then you... There's all these different interests together. But at the end of the day, we're all fucking human beings. We all exist in, in this thing called humanity. So why can't we just all find a, a fucking easier way to try to put something together so we can just stop all this bullshit? And that's what it is. This is nothing but a fucking big um, manufactured distraction from, from the real cause, the real decision. In the middle of the pandemic, you know what? Coronavirus doesn't even exist anymore. Compared to uh, what I was expressed at the the last at the RNC convention, I don't I don't know. I made that. Yeah, I listened to that, but um, I listen to both sides. I listen to everybody, and then I make a decision. I I have no political leanings. I'm part of the two prominent parties. I'm more of a libertarian, independent. If you really really need to know, um, I I just think that man. What is it going to take for us to get better? You know, I want to be, I, I've, I've been trying to be the change. I've changed my life completely. And you know what? I can, at the end of the day, I can sleep soundly knowing that my character is not defined on what I say. My character is defined on what I do. And I try to impact somebody at the best I possibly can in a bit of the most beneficial way as possible. And um, I don't know. I just thought I'd come over here and put my, my few cents, my half a cents into it and, and see if anybody else is getting anything out of this. Or if what I'm saying might be just the ravings of a lunatic. I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. If you're watching this, please like, share. And some, you don't have to share it. Just please um, subscribe. And can you um, please like the video so I can move up and uh, so I can move up a little bit. Thank you and have a great night.